Uh, today, no pizza, or maybe a little bit. But uh, let's talk about a new idea that you just introduced or a new position for the firm. KAR is the symbol. Car auctions, not to be confused with cars.com, although you do have other exposure as well to the automotive industry. Why this position and why now? Yeah, we think cars uh, is really interesting. Uh, it's the, they're one of the leaders in automobile auctions, actually in two different pieces. They have the Odessa business, which is for used car auctions, so cars that you're going to continue to drive. And then they have the IAA salvage auction business, which are cars that are being sold just for scrap and, and parts. What's interesting and event-y about this right now is that the IAA salvage business um, is going to get spun off. And they actually announced that they received their private letter ruling, I think it was last week or the week before. So that is going to move forward. I think it's misunderstood um, by the market. Um, if you compare the IAA salvage business to its closest competitor, a company you've talked about before, which is Copart, um, there's a big valuation gap. Um, Copart's done very well. Copart has done unbelievably yes. well. Car, as a consolidated business, has lagged behind Copart. So you have an opportunity to um, spin off the IAA salvage business, and the margin gap between Car and Copart is 10 times versus 18 times. So a huge gap. So if we can spin off, or if Car can spin off IAA salvage, and they get anywhere near the 18 times multiple, you're creating a remain code that is incredibly cheap. So, so you're supportive here of management's current plan. We are. So uh, we have an investment in the company. We've had conversations with the company. We believe what they're doing can make sense. We believe there's an operational improvement opportunity on both the IAA salvage business because their margins are 30% versus Copart, which is at 38%. We believe they can get to 35%, so there's about a 500 basis point improvement opportunity, and we believe there's an operational improvement opportunity at Odessa. And creating these as standalone businesses is good, good for their operations and good for value creation. And again, though, you believe current management is capable of beating the task of addressing that margin discrepancy that you described. So far, we've been very comfortable with our conversations with management. We believe that they're moving forward with this. We believe that there's, it's been misunderstood in the last earnings call. I think people were a little concerned that the IAA business was not getting spun off or not getting spun off in the near term. We believe that it is. We okay. believe that it'll be a near term event and that it will unlock significant value. Uh, yeah, it's funny. I mentioned cars.com because you also have had a position there. There was at least the idea that of a potential sale there. That has seemingly been abandoned. Are you supportive of that? Um, unless you know something I don't know, I don't think it's been abandoned, at least not yet. What so, do you think? Our belief is that there's a process that's ongoing, um, right. and we haven't heard the resolution there. We are supportive of them exploring the alternatives and trying to see if they can sell the business at a, an attractive price. All right, I'm not going to do any reporting here, or reporting here on air then about that process, but would you be disappointed if, in fact, it did not uh, meet their desired goals in terms of a potential deal? Of course. Any shareholder would be disappointed if they didn't get the value that they deserve. We believe they should move forward. and run a good process and see if they can get the right price and a, and a transaction. But there's also operational opportunities at the company. So we'll see. One way or another, we believe value can be created.